on to hip flexors. This tutorial, we're going to focus on identifying the iliopsoas muscle group and describing their actions and innervations. All right. So the hip flexors really comprise one muscle called the iliopsoas muscle that really is comprised of two muscles, the iliacus or iliacus muscle, as well as the psoas major. So let's focus on first the iliacus muscle. It arises from the iliac fossa on the ilium, hence the name iliac fossa, and it inserts on the lesser trochanter of the femur. And so there in purple, we see this lesser trochanter of the femur. Then the psoas major, which arises from a little bit from that T12 L level, but the L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5 lumbar vertebrae and transverse processes, and then inserts on the lesser trochanter of the femur. So there we have in yellow the il iliacus muscle, and in orange the psoas major muscle. And then shown there is the inguinal ligament, that bottom of the external abdominal oblique muscle. And what we see then is the iliacus and psoas major deep or below the inguinal ligament kind of come together in the same fascial sleeve and attached to the lesser trochanter. So anatomists said, well, the iliacus muscle will add the word ilio, and the psoas major muscle will add the word psoas, and we'll call it the iliopsoas muscle when these muscles come together below or inferior to the inguinal ligament. So there we have the iliopsoas muscle. And these two muscles, since they attach the lesser trochanter and cross vertically in front of the hip, they're going to flex the hip or cause hip flexion from this position to this position. Hip flexion. All right, now let's talk about the innervation of these hip flexor muscles. Well, the psoas major is innervated by the um, L2 spinal cord level via the ventral ramus. And so all we do is show the L2 spinal cord level, put a motor neuron in the ventral horn, send it out, and then it's just a branch off the ventral ramus that goes to the psoas major. Sometimes it's a branch from the L1, and in fact, you'll see some levels coming off of L3 and L4. But for the scope of this course, basically L2 ventral ramus is what innervates the psoas major. Now the iliacus muscle, it's also the L2 level, but it's via the femoral nerve. Now, how does this work? So there is the lumbar plexus, and there we've got the L2 spinal cord level. And so we see the whole femoral nerve that comes from L2, L3, and L4, but, it's, but the level that goes to the iliacus in the femoral nerve is very heavy on the L2 level, which makes sense because you remember the L2 myotome flexes the hip. All right, how about hip flexors in a nutshell? Well, there we have our iliopsoas musculature, the psoas major and the iliacus. And the psoas major is innervated by the ventral ramus of L2, iliacus from the femoral nerve via L2, and these muscles cause hip flexion, and they both attach to the lesser trochanter.